One of the great things about working with Montage is the ability to take one performance and merge it with another. What I want to do here is I want to take the Apollo performance and import it into the CFX and Pad 2 performance. But there is one caveat with doing that that I want to explain today. Let's bring it in. It's a pad and it's under the warm attribute. There it is. So now we have the Apollo parts loaded into the CFX and Pad 2 performance. Now if I move the super knob I can hear that the SuperNob is controlling the CFX and Pad 2 part of the performance, but that choral element of Apollo that we heard before is not being controlled. And the reason for that is that when you bring parts into an existing performance, they will bring in their part level control assignments, but they won't bring in the performance level control assignments. So let's go and inspect Apollo to see what its performance level assignments were, and then will bring them into this performance. We'll head over, head over to the performance again. And let's hear it again. Now, as I move the super knob, I can see that all of the assignable knobs are moving. But that doesn't necessarily mean that all of them are used. In actual fact, four of them are labeled as assigned, which isn't very helpful, but it does give us a hint that those are the ones that are actually being used. Let's go and find out what's actually happening behind the scenes. I'll hit edit and go to control, control assign, and then if I move the super knob, it shows me all of the assignments that are currently attached to the super knob. There's five of them. But let's have a look at the individual knobs. So if I move, so as long as I've got auto select enabled, if I move assign knob one, I can see that it's got an assignment for part one, assign one, and part one assigned five. Second knob has part one assigned two. Assigned knob three points at part two assigned three and the fourth knob looks at part two assigned four. So we need to keep those in mind um, but there's one other thing we need to check first and that is the amount that it moves the knobs. So as I move the super knob you can see that all of these ones are going from zero to 127 or full but the first is only moving halfway to 64. let's just look at that on a bigger screen and we can see that these are the positions that the super knob controls so with all of that in mind let's go back to the cfx pad 2 performance bring in apollo and reprogram those performance level assignments so cfx pad 2 bring in apollo Now, as I said, this currently will not be affecting the uh, Apollo parts with the super knob. Uh, it's actually only doing the first three knobs. So let's go and see what those are doing first, just to make sure we're not going to uh, mess anything up. So we're back in control, control assign. Knob one goes to part one, assign one. Knob two, part two, assign one. Knob three, part two, assign two. And knob four is empty, which usually means that the remainder are empty. So we're going to take the four assigned knobs from the Apollo performance and program them into knobs four, five, six, and seven of this performance. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I want to be able to control the Apollo parts with the super knob separately, which we'll do a little bit later. But that's not to say that if you didn't have some free knobs, you couldn't just attach them to existing assignments because as we saw in the Apollo performance, each knob can have multiple assignments. But if I do that, then I can't control them separately. So that's not what I'm doing at this point. So let's start programming. Go to assign knob four, and we want to give it a destination of part three because Apollo part one has been brought into part three of this performance. Part three, assign one, and another one, of part three, assign five. Move to the next knob. This was pointed at part three, assign two. Next knob. This was pointed at, in the Apollo performance, it was part two, assign three. So this is now gonna be part four, assign three. 
And finally, assign knob 7 was pointed at part 2, which is now part 4, assign 4. So what we should now have is these first three knobs control the CFX pad 2 performance part, and then the last, uh, the, the next bunch of four control the Apollo parts. But they're not currently attached to the super knob. Um, as if I move the super knob, you can see it's only moving the first three knobs. So we need to go and set up um, the what's called super knob link. So I'll go to motion control, and you can see that they are actually linked. But the reason that they don't appear to be linked is that they don't have an upper value set. So when I move the super knob, they're not actually doing anything. So I'm going to move the super knob to the top so that these come all the way up. And then I'm going to set the position for these remaining knobs. Now, remember, this one only went to 64. So we'll program that there. And these ones went all the way to the top. And then we'll just shift to to set that as their position. And now when I move the super knob, they behave as you'd expect. So let's just hear that. Great, that's doing exactly what we want. But remember I said that I want to be able to control them individually. Well, I'm going to do that with scenes. So let's switch over to scene. And you can see that scene one is lit up because it always is when there's uh, no scenes programmed. But scene one doesn't actually do anything yet. But I want to say that scene one is going to control the knobs that are linked to the super knob. And I don't want it to link to knob eight because that's not doing anything yet. And as I move the uh, pedal under the keyboard, you can see that it's moving the first seven knobs. But now I'm going to switch to scene two and turn on super knob link. But this time I only want it to control the first three assignable knobs, which are the CFX pad two parts. And then for scene three, super knob link on. And this time I'm going to do knobs four, five, six, and seven. And now I'm just controlling the Apollo assignments. So let's see those again. Scene one, everything's controlled. Scene two, just the CFX pad two. And part three, Apollo. Let's hear that in action. So. This is, remember, all parts. Now just the CFX pad 2. And Apollo. So that's working exactly as I want it. Now, I could at this point show you how to do the same thing using Montage M, but the workflow is so similar that there's basically no point. But the workflow on ESP is a little different, so let's go and do a little more work over there. So here we are in ESP and uh, I've got my performance brought in, uh, or rather I've reproduced it because obviously you can't bring performances from the original montage into ESP. Um, but let's just check that everything's working as we'd expect. There's scene one and scene two and scene three. That's all working fine. Now we have one remaining assignable knob to use. Uh, so I'm going to bring in another part. Uh, it's going to be a synth strings part. I'm going to use PWM strings. And the reason I'm using that is it has a really obvious um, increase in cutoff, which actually only uses one assignable knob, which fits in well with our spare knob on the performance we've built. So let's just take a look at what's actually going on here. Uh, we'll go into control assign and look at the super knob, and you can see that it's programmed to look at assign knob one, which is part one assign one. And there are two destinations, but uh, we don't need to worry about those, those just yet. So Let's head back to my um, Apollo performance. There it is. And we'll bring in the strings synth PWM strings part. There it is. It's now sitting in part five. So just as we did before, we now need to go and program the assignable knob to look at that part. So we'll come down into 
control assign and change the display filter to assign knob 8 which is the free one uh, ooh, actually wants to common control assign notice we've currently got part 5 selected that's not what we want we actually want the common control assign for assign knob 8 that's got it now new destination is going to point to part 5 assign 1 and there we are two destinations one of which is cut off and now uh, assign knob 8 will do what we want let's uh, hear it work So we've got that assigned, uh, but of course the super knob's not doing anything. So let's link it to the super knob and then go and set the upper position for it. Because as you'll remember, until we tell it to do something um, to link the super knob to the movement of the knob, it won't. So assign knob eight currently has a upper position of zero and a lower position of zero, so it's not moving. So we'll take the upper position and set it to full. Uh, obviously um, ESP is working with high resolution controls so rather than being uh, a number between 0 and 123 it's now 0 and 1023 um, so you can see that my 64 value for um, the fourth knob is actually now half of 1023 being 512 if you consider 0 to be the starting number so as I move the super knob now we'll see those all move. Let's hear it. Great. Now, we set up scenes to control the CFX pad 2 parts and scenes to set up uh, the uh, Apollo parts. Now we need to do the same for the uh, PWM strings part. So we'll head over to scenes and just remind ourselves scene 1 controlled knobs 1 to 7, but now we also want it to control knob 8, which is the PWM strings assignment. Scene 2 was just the CFX pad 2 parts, uh, knobs 1, 2, and 3. Scene 3 was just the Apollo parts, knobs 4, 5, 6, and 7. And we now need scene 4 as well. We'll turn on super knob link and we just want it to control knob 8. So let's head home again and hear it. Scene 4. And scene 1. Scene two, scene three, and scene four. And I think that'll do for today.